Hello everyone, it's Lisa from Epic Yarn Gems. I'm going to be trying something new this year and I'm going to be doing some review of yarns. The first yarn that I'm going to review is the Red Heart Heat Wave yarn. These opinions are totally mine. I am not affiliated with Red Heart or any other yarn company. Also, I am not affiliated with YouTube. So, like I said, these are just my opinions on this yarn. So in the information on the uh, skein, it says heat wave, how does it work? Heat wave use a patented fiber that absorbs energy from the sun to turn it into warmth, even on cloudy days. The special fibers are spun into the yarn from the beginning so they will never wash out. Heat wave will keep you up to 12 degrees Fahrenheit, 6.6 .6 degrees Celsius, warmer when you are outside, so it's perfect for watching the game, walking the dog, waiting for the bus, skiing, skating, and all outdoor sports. As soon as you go indoors, the heat generating properties are no longer activated, so you won't be too hot when you are inside. A little more information, it is a four medium weight. It's 3.5 ounces, 198 yards in this skein. It's 100% acrylic, 5.5 uh, millimeter crochet hook, and a five millimeter knitting needles. Also, the uh, washing instructions are 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius, and it can also be dried. So for the testing of this yarn, I did use double crochets with my five millimeter hook. I used the color luggage and the little samples measured about five inches long and about three inches tall. So I also unraveled them and there were four little strands in each of the pieces of yarn. And when I did use my um, crochet hook on this, it did slide through very easily. There wasn't a lot of splitting, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, it is a coarse yarn, so when you're working with it, it is a bit rough on your fingers. I definitely wouldn't use it for like a baby hat or anything, but the doggy sweaters that I made with it, it was perfect. So I used the washing instructions on the package and when I did, it did shrink up a little bit, uh, not too much, but just a little bit. The one thing it did is it did make it softer. I wouldn't say like super soft, but it was a little softer than before the wash. And also this is a quick picture of what the fibers look before the wash. And then here is what they look like after the wash. They look pretty much the same, maybe just a little more fuzz on the after wash. But for the most part, it washed up really well with very minimal shrinking. To test the heat wave of this, I put Diamond in his older sweater and I put Emerald in the new sweaters that I just recently made for them. And I had them go outside in the sunshine for a little while, play around, do their business, uh, just have a good time frolicking about. Uh, by no means was this a scientific experiment, um, but I did check after they had been outside for a while and put my hand underneath each of the coats, and the heat wave coat was warmer. Was it, uh, what they say, 12 degrees warmer? I'm not really sure, but it was warmer. So based upon that, I would say that the heat wave does work like they say. So in summary, it is a coarser yarn, not to be really used for baby items in my opinion. It does soften up in the wash. It does have a little shrinkage in the wash. It is very easy to use. It does not split. And the heat wave does warm things up a little bit. So all in all, thumbs up on this yarn and I will be using it again on more projects in the future. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you have any suggestions on how to do these yarn reviews, if you want more information or less information, please leave me a comment so that I can continue to improve on these. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and also share on other social medias. I would really appreciate that. Also, to all of you, peace, love, and happiness. Take care.